It has been 29 years this week since the death of a young man from Shimokin shook the coal region. Matthew Hoy's death has never been officially called a homicide, but his family and the police believe it was. In this edition of the Action 16 Investigates series, The Unsolved, Stacey Lang shows us how the same investigator is still on the case 29 years later. It is what it is. Meet patrolman David Sage. This is my 46th year of service with the Coal Township Police Department. He's seen a lot in his career in law enforcement. We, we've had, unfortunately, other homicides in the area. I've worked on just about all of them at one time or another. But one will always stand out, the case of Matthew Hoy. Many people in the coal region will remember his death on May 7th of 1994. The family's ordeal is our top story tonight. 21-year-old Hoy was found in the passenger seat of his burned out car. I was called in, it was a Saturday, and we went up to the Bunker Hill area where the burned car and the remains were found. The secluded spot behind the community ball fields in Cole Township was a popular place to party back then. Today, it's been taken over by ATV trails. I seen your vehicle, you weren't making it. We needed Corey Thompson's help to get there. He was only eight when Hoy died and has never forgotten it. I'm glad to bring you a little bit closer and hopefully shed some light on what happened here and bring some kind of closure to the family. Police learned that Hoy had been back in these woods and was last seen around 2.30 in the morning. A few hours later, a hunter spotted the smoke coming from Hoy's burning car. His body was in the passenger seat and so burned that investigators couldn't tell if he had been injured before the fire. Sage says they followed every lead, which caused them to call on every local department for help, along with federal agencies and state police from as far away as Nebraska and California. So it's not something that we just did ourselves or tried to do ourselves. Because we're a local police department, we do the best we can, and if we need help, we're not afraid to ask. Coal Township Police have received a tip nearly every year since Hoy's death, but none has led to a suspect. On a trip back up to Bunker Hill where it all happened, Sage said despite the many interviews they've done, someone out there still has the missing piece of the puzzle. I wish that if some people know things but they're hesitant to tell us that they would come in and tell us. I, I don't know if, if people like that exist or not. And until that missing piece comes forward, Sage says there's only so much he can do. He's not sure whether this case will ever be solved. There's only one person I think that's going to actually help us do that. And uh, every time you go to church, you're in his house. Stacy Lang, Action 16 Investigates, Northumberland County.